I know I'm not the only one that's come up with this problem. Over time, these travel trailers, no matter what you do, racing, doesn't matter. They bow down the middle. And what ends up happening is that the feet don't touch. Try to wind these out. And they just fall out before they can, they can touch the ground. So we got to come up with a fix for that. So we don't have any problems here. So my fix is fairly simple. I was gonna get see if I could find longer legs, but I can't. But this seemed better anyway, so I was walking around Home Depot. Let's get uh, some rubber feet and some scooters, basically, and some felt pads, and stack these up inside of here, and like this, and then put that inside of there. So uh, give me a minute, and I'll go ahead and put that together. We'll see how it works. Okay, let's see how I can do this one-handed. Number one, the rubber has about a quarter inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch of lift on it, so that'll give us a little bit. And I want to use two of these to lift it just a little higher. And take this, and it should just plug right in there. Yeah, it, but then on top of that, it fits in there nice and tight, it feels like. So anyway, I'm gonna have to do this two-handed. I'll come back when I have it installed. Okay, so I've gone and installed it. Uh, that seemed to work perfect. Honestly, it holds nicely. Actually, it's a non-skid bottom too. It actually looks pretty nice. Took about $6. And uh, go ahead and repeat it three more times and that will fix the problem. I'm actually gonna lift it higher than the level here. You can see how much it's bowed. It's not even just bowed, it's shrunken. It's not even the same size anymore, I've noticed. But it doesn't matter. We'll fix it with this and that should solve our problem. Okay, all four are installed. As you can see, I'm lifted just a little off the crease now. So it's not trying to lift off of there. It's, it looks like it may be sitting a little bit on that one. And, uh, no more problem. It's touching the ground and holding tightly, which is good. And just make sure to tighten your nut up against there so it locks in there nicely. This actually should have probably been the original design if you ask me, but what do I know? Anyways, uh, like and share if you like. I think that's a pretty good fix though.